Good morning. I'm hopping on today because today is the Blackberry Beauty Fall class. So those of you who are taking the class, this is the instructions of how to put the cards together. And if you're one of my regular Facebook um, viewers, you get a little bonus today. So this was the Blackberry Beauty Fall class that you could have ordered. Um, I will tell you that this paper and the ephemera, ephemera, I always say that wrong, ephemera pack were very popular. Luckily, I had ordered eight of them ahead of time. So everybody in their kit has half a pack because I only ordered eight and they're not available till November, but I didn't want to delay the class. So you also have two sheets from the first ephemera kit that is coordinates beautifully as well. So it's a little bit of everything. And your cards will still be beautiful because with even with half a set of this kit, you get lots of elements and pieces. So I'm gonna show you today. So you're gonna to have to be a little more creative than usual when you're designing your cards because I'll show you one way and then you only, might only have one of those pieces. So for your second card, you can just choose something else from the ephemera kit. All right, if I say it enough times, I'll get it right. The next class is the breast cancer fundraiser. It's a week today. So you would have to let me know by today, actually. I'm cutting today, so if you're interested, let me know. I do have two mystery boxes left. Um, $125 worth of products for $50. 100% of that money goes to breast cancer research. All right, let's get going. I have my turkey in the oven. I'm excited. I was already in to visit my mom. And yeah, it's going to be a good weekend. It's not raining. It's all good. All right, so we're doing four, no, eight cards, four designs, two of each. But I'm going to show you some of the tricks or little tips for cutting some of the paper. So let's start with, okay, just, just a sec. start with this card. Simple but I think very beautiful. And the way you cut your paper you'll have more options of adding a sentiment and I'll tell you why I didn't. I tried every color to go with it. I forgot my card base. And I don't know I just didn't like it. But when you do cut your these pieces you will have a little bit of extra from this from the middle of your paper from here now because the flowers on this paper are all different heights there's a, tr a, a trick I used to cut I cut everybody's pieces individually and then cut them in three it seems simple but I think it's very striking but you could easily add a little sentiment vellum would look beautiful with this if you wanted to put a piece of vellum and heat emboss in gold that would look really pretty so this class allows your creativity to shine through. Or you can do it just as I've done because you do have the bow. And for the bow, just pick a, a stem and add the bow wherever you like. Really, this paper is so pretty, you don't want to cover it up with too much stuff. If you have a tiny little sentiment, I don't know. You guys do what you guys do. What you guys do. All right, so the card is actually a regular card base. And this piece is three and a half by five. So this piece is three and a quarter, no, it's three. It's three because we have those little spaces. Three by four and three quarters. So because I know it's three, here's how I cut it. I went ahead and cut my paper into strips of three. Yeah, it is. So because this one has a really tall flower, yet this one doesn't, the way I did the rest of the cuts is I went to the top of the paper. So you can get eight cards out of one sheet of paper. I wanted a little bit of white space at the top, so I just trimmed it off where I thought it would look pretty. This one has a bit more. 
because I didn't do this trick when I did my sample. But I did after. So we cut it there. And then we're remembering, but I'm forgetting, that it is four and three quarters. So then you just go to four and three quarters and you're gonna chop off a bunch of this. So you have all these little pieces that you can use to do a piece together card if you want. So that's how I got this piece. Then what I did is I went, yours should be in order like this. This is how I cut them. I did each one individually. So I did one, I slid it off, and then I did one, I slid it off on top, and then I put that one on top. So yours should be in order, but if not, there's only three pieces, so hopefully you can figure it out. So then you need your piece of um, early espresso. <gasps> a brand new bone folder. Let's see how long it stays clean. Now I really want to use white glue, so I'm going to go grab a new one. I do want to be able to move these around a little bit if I need to. Just looking for my other piece of brown. I know I did cut it. So this one's going to go on top, but before I put it on, I'm going to assemble my pieces. Now we know we want a little bit of space in the middle. So I always like to lay them out first. Now it's easier if there's only three, so I'm going to grab my middle one. Whoopsie. Try not to move your other ones. And I'll put it back knowing that I already had them placed. Okay, good to go. Now it doesn't matter if the other ones move because you have your center one. Some people like to start from the edges. I don't know, I just start from the middle. If you have up the ones that have four pieces, sometimes it is easier to start at the edge. So you kind of have an idea already about how much space is between everything. See, that was a bit high. With the white glue, you have a little bit of wiggle room. And then we'll add this one. Like I said, this is a really simple card, but I think it would be a beautiful sympathy card. Just because it's very understated. Hey, Judith, you're getting a little bonus. It's the Blackberry Beauty card class. And I'm just showing how to put the cards together. All right, so we've got that done. This paper is so pretty, and this piece in particular, but you really have to be strategic how you use it, I think. So then we've got that, we've got this, so I'm gonna pop this up. Is anyone else in the craft room today? It's gonna to be a toss up between my craft room and getting some of my gardening done. Although it's supposed to be nice all next week, so I'm not in a big rush. But then I keep putting it off and then it's freezing cold. However, I did watch a webinar last week about making sure that you leave some of your flowers for the birds, which I always do. And setting up your feeders for the migrating birds, that I do not do because we have a bear in our backwoods. And I do not want to be feeding the bear. All right, so then what you do is you just look and see where you might want um, your sentiment or your bow. You can pick, well, wherever you want. I always like to put it on one stem. Usually I put it on the, the most obvious stem, but actually no, don't like it there. I think I'm gonna put it here. Now, if you were adding a sentiment, so sometimes for this one, you might have a little bit of space at the top because these flowers were smaller. Let me check and just show you. So it's four and three quarters. Yeah, so perfect, because when I go to cut, trim this one off, that's the size of the piece I need. But look, you have this perfect little piece that you, can t you could take, well you can't, if you have the paper, and do a little sentiment. I didn't do that, but 
I just left mine without a sentiment. Sometimes no sentiment is good because then you can use it for whatever you want. Okay, I'm gonna search for my pokey tool. Oh, there it is. So I'm gonna use a glue dot. This is the old twine, you have the new stuff, which is actually better for this card, but I don't have any left. Or maybe I do, but I'll just use this one. This was the one from last year. Yours shows up a bit more actually. And it's more of this gold. All right, so there's our first card. You do have your inserts and your envelopes. So that's card number one. Hey, Phyllis. All right, the next one is, these cards are very simple, but you have lots of elements that you can add. So we're using Blackberry Bliss. So the colors I've used today, Blackberry Bliss, Rich Razzleberry, Early Espresso and Cinnamon Cider. Actually, each card has a different color paper. For this one, I did go with Very Vanilla for the sentiment, although I don't even know if I want a sentiment on it. This piece is three by five and a half, and then you have your two little pieces of gold that we're gonna add to the edges. You can butt them up against the paper, or you can tuck them in underneath. I'm going to put them right butted up. So I'm going to leave that there because that's where I want to put it. Add my glue. And again, the white glue gives me a little bit of wiggle room. So if I remember, it's going to go right there. Just before I press it down, I'm going to make sure that's where I want it. Yeah, that looks good. Now, sometimes you might want a, a, a smaller, like not quite as much gold on the side. You could tuck it underneath or you can cut these down. These are half inch, so you could trim it down to a quarter inch as well. This DSP is so beautiful. At the end, I'll show you some other cards I made using other elements of this set. Um, and if you're in the class, I'll put pictures in the PDF. Okay, so there we got one. Two. Oh, darn. That's the only thing about using the white glue is it shows up if you get it on the front. Well, we'll just pretend that's not there. The paper is beautiful. And as of yesterday, it was available again. So, I'm pretty sure... I don't even remember if you have a bow for this one because I didn't have an extra kit. So, I'm gonna pretend you do. I think you have bows for three of them. And if you have some gold ribbon, you can add your own. Okay, so now what you do is you go and pull out your pack. And for this one, I'm actually gonna use the ephemera, the older one. I thought I had one open and I know I do, but I don't see it. So I'll just grab another one. Oh yeah, I did have one. I know I did, because I showed you. But you can use, oh here it is. You can use any of these elements. There's a whole page of elements that you can choose from. So for this class today, you gotta get a little creative. So you'll have lots to choose from. So this one is called the Blackberry Beauty Ephemera Pack. The other one is called Expressions in Ink. So it went with that artistic set. So I'm gonna grab, oh look, these match perfect they were designed for them. I do want something with a bit of height, so I'm going to add two, I think. Hmm. You can do the one at the top, one at the bottom idea, which I also like to do. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So one at the top corner, one at the bottom. So I'm just gonna take that 
and then I'm going to glue dot these down. Sometimes I like to place them and then add the glue dots or you could add the glue dots to the back of your sentiment because obviously you don't want them floating in thin air. Oh, good idea, a white eraser. Thanks for the tip, Shannon. All right. This one needs to go up a bit more. And you can offset it to the side. This paper is so pretty, it's hard to really put things on top of it. But do what you gotta do. All right, then we're gonna add our sentiment and then whatever bow you have, I don't remember, I apologize. My life's a little crazy right now. So you can add that. And I think that bow was for your other one. You might have this bow. I don't know. Anyways, and I don't even know if we need a bow. Well, it looks pretty there, but, oh, sorry, it was off camera. Um, but it looks pretty just like that. And if you have some little gold embellishments, you could add those as well. Okay, so I'll do that trick of Shannon's later. So there we go, the second card. And I also, those of you who have the stamp set, don't forget to stamp your envelopes to add to the beauty of your card. So that for that one, I thought that would be pretty. All right, the next one I think is one of my favorites. I wanna show you how to do it so that you will know how to recreate it. So this one, I don't know what this technique is called, but we've got Cinnamon Cider, Blackberry Bliss, four by five and a quarter. I think this is my favorite paper. You know, there's always one that I use all the time. This is the very last piece of this one. Um, five by three and three quarters. And here's what the card is going to look like. So in your kit, you have one of these gold ones. Let's see. But you also have this one that you can use. So you have this one and you have a gold one here. So you can use this one for one of your cards and this one for your other card, okay? You'll have enough for everything, trust me. Okay, so I'm using punches, which I'm sure you have in your stash. We don't sell them anymore, but I'm using two inch and two and a quarter. So I'm gonna take my two inch punch. I like to look and see which corner has the prettiest one. So if I look here, there's not really any center thing here, but if I look this way, there is this center one here. So I'm gonna take my, I don't know if alcohol does. Hey, Teresa. You'd have to mess around and try on a scrap piece. So I'm gonna take my punch, and I don't wanna to go too far in. I wanna go fairly close to the corner. So the way I do it is just have a little bit of space here and I know there's a little bit of space here because you don't want to go off your card. And it's perfect because this little thing is right in the middle. So you punch that. So there we have that punched. So that's your two inch. Put that one away so you don't get mixed up. Then take your two and a quarter. And you want, this is going to go down here. So you want to punch up here. This is such a good paper saver. And this card design is so simple and you really have to have a paper that's got some kind of design on it, but it's just so pretty. Okay, so that's the two and a quarter. So let's go ahead and put this together. So just fold it in half. Cinnamon cider needs to be in your collection if you have this paper because it matches perfectly. Then this one is going to go like this. And you are putting a piece of paper over this, so don't worry about that. If you're looking in your class kit and going, why didn't you give me a piece that's already cut? It's to save paper. And then this one is going to go like that. Isn't that brilliant? So let's put this one like this. I just love this card. Now, with this one, well, let's just go ahead and glue it, but you are going to want to try to match it up to wherever you took it off. 
and it's pretty easy to figure out. But first we're going to glue it. Oh, 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 oh. First, you're going to take So you can see it how it had a little um, tag at that end. I didn't use that. So it's going to go here. And then you just glue this on top. Whoopsie. You just want a little border. You could make a bigger border if you want. You could do this in gold. But I just like using the same color paper that I used down here. Okay, so stamp your sentiment. But remember, you only have this much room for your sentiment or as far over as you put it. So I'm not going to glue mine on because I forgot to do my sentiment and I do want to use this card. So then you have to find, I'm looking for the bottom of that leaf and the top of a little gold leaf. There. It's not critical that you do that, but is that even right? Yeah, that's fine. So then take dimensionals add them. That was unnecessarily lot of dimensionals. Hey Rita. So then do your sentiment, glue this down flat and then take this and add it to your card. Then before you do that, well here's how I did mine. I put this right here, one of the sprigs. So this is from I think it's this sprig and I used glue dots because it's very um, fragile. Fragile is a good word. But you could also use one of these ones, which I think might even be better. Also if you have the die set, um, there are oak leaves in the die set. I think that would be even that would be really pretty as well. So just do it up as much as you like. You do have your ribbon. No, that's not ribbon. This is linen thread to add to your flower, but I encourage you to make yours unique and look like you want it to look. Because you might not even want anything out of there. You might want this coming out of here and just have that off by its own. So, for this card class, you get to let your creativity shine through. Okay, so that's the third card. And the last card, oh, I love this one too. So all those little scraps that you have, don't get rid of them. Um, you can use them for this card. So not a lot of pieces. Well, there are a lot of pieces. So this is mm, Rich Razzleberry. So you can see how I've used all four colors that coordinate with this paper. Then these little pieces are, um, looking for my ruler, here it is. So two and five eighths by two. Now you could do them a little shorter because there's going to be this piece in the middle. So what I did, you should have two pieces that have owls on them. So I like to put those opposite corners, but you do yours the way you want. You should have two little sets, and then you have two that are not owls. Really, it's owls or not owls? I think you all have the same papers that I do. Sorry, I'm off camera. I'm just gonna tilt my camera a bit, because I keep going off. So now you're just going to take these and glue them. So I'm going to start with the top left. This is a great way to use up all those little scraps. And these papers all coordinate so beautifully that it's easy to do this design. Not all the papers and all the paper packs go together this beautifully, but this set really does. You might not have, I don't know which papers you have. I think you have the same ones as me. Thanks, Monique. It's a color palette I don't often use, but man, it's good for this. So, 
Don't worry about getting too close to the middle because we're putting a piece on top. I was thinking of putting a gold piece, but I thought that's gonna to be too much. Plus we're gonna use one of the elements from the ephemera kit. So there you have your four pieces. They don't have to be perfect because we're gonna cover them up. You don't need to cover them up, but I like. If you have a ribbon, I don't know. You know what, sometimes just a piece of cardstock works perfectly. And you may need to trim your piece because it's not exactly four inches because we have this little tiny space. So it's hard to predict exactly what the length is gonna be for your card. So what I did is I took this one, this element from your kit. It's on this page. So you will have a gold one and a brown one because you'll have half of this because you got half a pack. I think one person got a full pack. That's just the way it worked out. So you have one gold one and one brown one to put on here. So stamp your greeting. Now I will tell you when you punch these out, they do come apart. So I punched out very carefully so that they kind of stayed together. And then what I did is I turned it over and I put glue dots in each corner to hold it together. Because it's kind of, you don't want it all, you don't want to be trying to put it back together onto your card. So I would put that here with my sentiment. And then... I would just pick some elements to put with it. I chose this one. You only have one of those. Here it is. But on this page, you have other ones. You could use any of these. They're all really pretty. You could also use, there's a really cool, it is kind of big though. This, which is really pretty. You could even just put that right in the middle. Sometimes no sentiment is good, but you decide. So creativity for these ones and a little bit of deciding how you're gonna design them because you have a lot of beautiful elements that you can add. And if you have some of the paper, obviously you can use these for making more cards. Look at those, so pretty. Anyhow, all right, so this is our last card. I'm not gonna go and finish putting it together because I did not stamp the sentiment. So as I said, I don't know which ribbon you have for which card because as things would happen, my gold ribbon that I ordered for this class arrived last night at five o'clock after I had delivered all the kits. So that's just how things roll around here. So here's our four cards. We've got this one, kind of like the puzzle this one this one with the envelope and this one okay now I've got everything too high oh my goodness all right I think these are really pretty and you know what it's not me it's the paper so if you haven't already ordered the paper, I do encourage you to hop on the website and order some. Um, just trying to go online and see if it's still available. I'm thinking it is. I ordered some yesterday. Let me just check in inventory. No, nope, status. If it's not um, on back order, then definitely get some because the paper really does all the work for these cards. The Stampin' Up! paper lately is just incredible. Oh, it's on back order. Till the week of November 8th. Ooh, good thing I ordered a pack yesterday. So hopefully some of you are, have already ordered the paper. I'm gonna try to find me again. All right, there we go. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so those are the four cards that we made in our class get a good shot for um, my thumb thumbprint <laughs> thumbnail now let me show you some other cards that I've made using this paper so yesterday I made one for my parents 77th wedding anniversary is Monday no not 77th 67th anniversary 77th Ooh. 
67th anniversary, so I made this one using this paper, and this is called an accordion fun fold. It needs a little piece in here, I just haven't put it on yet. So watch my Facebook Live to see how to make this one. I also did one using Eden's Garden, Eden Garden, Eden's Garden, Eden's Garden as well. So there's another one, just so you can see the difference in the paper in the different styles. This one I made one day on my Facebook Live. So again, similar design to this one, but instead of the gold, I did add a sentiment. Then if you have a bunch of scraps, uh, here was a scrappy one I made, which was lots of fun. And then this one is really pretty. I made this on one of my Facebook Lives as well, where you just take your little piece of paper, cut it in four, corner to corner, and then just flip the middle two pieces. I love this one. The changing of leaves reminds us that new wonders are just around the corner. This is the dye from the beautiful, what's it called? Beautiful leaves dyes. So it has dyes that cut out some of the flowers and then this big huge leaf dye which is really pretty. I saw someone use it on a card and cut it in half and use it in the two corners. It was really really pretty. There's all your nice oak leaves so those would be fun to use as well. And then and that's the glimmer gold shimmer vellum. Really really pretty. And then here's another one I did again using the owls and one of the little tags. So same color palette for all the cards. This one doesn't lie flat, so. All right. Okay, why are they all up so high now? Oh, I need some, I guess. <laughs> Lots of card ideas. So hopefully you were able to get some of the, this Blackberry Beauty paper. If not, you can make the cards that you received in your card kit today. So thank you everyone for joining me and if you did purchase the class I hope you have fun putting your cards together and if you're in Canada happy Thanksgiving Day weekend and I know I have much to be thankful for in my life so I hope you do as well. I will I'm planning to be live on Monday however it is my parents anniversary so I'm not sure if something's going to be happening with that so stay tuned uh, if I'm not on Monday I'll be on Wednesday for sure. Thanks everyone and have a great weekend.